So we're trying to be responsive to that, where the opportunities are, in the short-term opportunities, and capitalize on those. Um, you know, for example, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, um, uh, Tunisia, uh, and Algeria are all starting to import more and more U.S. corn. So trying to engage buyers and, and remind them that the U.S. Is, uh, you know, has product available for them to purchase and how they can go how about doing that. So that's, that's one um, aspect of it. There's certainly another aspect which involves ethanol and the council's really been looking at ethanol opportunities in, in the region. Um, some of it is for blending and, and um, uh, re-export to countries in Africa um, out of, from out of the Middle East, and then also, also we have a very important agenda in India for ethanol. When we look at Sub-Saharan Africa, we're very uh, interested in, in trying to capture and, and build relationships of, with markets of the future. So um, we envision in 20 years or maybe even less that, that we will see a very strong growing livestock industry. Actually, it's, uh, uh, there is a lot of investment currently going on. So the seeds are being planted uh, by commercial companies for, for both East and West Africa. And so the council is kind of making inroads into uh, engaging with those those sectors uh, were very active and on the ground in Tanzania with the poultry industry and we also have a program in West Africa both in the feed uh, manufacturing side and the poultry industry just really trying to um, find out what the need is and, and how we can um, facilitate or catalyze some of that growth that's naturally there. Mm -hmm.